This is the Andres Segovia Show. Hey everyone, it's Andres. Welcome to another episode of the program. And this one, uh, I wasn't even sure how to approach this because I've never actually shown uh, any connected uh, wearable, like in terms of clothing or shoes, before. And they do exist. Um, I actually did do a, a, a piece on Invisaware, which is jewelry, but it's actually smart jewelry. Uh, like SOS types, uh, that's something that uh, if you're interested, I can cover. But this time, I'm going to be covering my new shoes. These are the Under Armour Hover Sonic 4. I got the first generation. I love these shoes. They've only gotten better. Some say the second generation was better. I skipped it. I wouldn't know. But I did like the fit and feel of this. However, I did feel that my original shoe was a little bit sized small even though it was the right size for me. But I guess it's a running shoe, so therefore, I guess it was meant to fit tighter. What makes these unique is the fact that they are connected to Map My Run. So there's Bluetooth on the right shoe, and you can connect it to Map Your Run, and it'll track your steps. So this is something really cool. You can keep track or on tabs of your shoe as you go along. So I'll show you here in a moment what it looks like on my phone. So these are the shoes that I got. This is the Hover 4. It's supposed to be a halo gray with, um, I thought it was red in the picture, but it looks a little, oops, it looks a little um, orange, like a, not so much a bright orange, but more like a burnt orange. Uh, and I like it though. It actually, it themes with what I'm wearing right now. This is the one, and just for modeling sake. My original shoes, you see they're in frame? Yeah, they've been, they don't look as much, but they are pretty beat up. They're torn from the back, you can't really tell and water's always getting in, but it's more like how it was weaved and my toe sticking out there. <laughs> right there, you could see the darker spot. That's why this size 13 fits considerably better uh, for me. I I actually had a little uh, a double take. I'm like, I don't know if I want size 13, but I got them, I tried them on, and they fit pretty well, so I'm like, all right, I'll stick with it. All right, so now the whole point is, I'm gonna open up, map my run. And I just show you my shoes that are connected. So there it is, connected. Those are my white ones that are connected right now. So let me see if I can just pull it up real quick. There it is. On total with these shoes, it says I've walked 708 miles total since I first got them. I first connected them back on April 29 or 22nd, 2019, and they're synced right now. So these are my all-time stats. It's even tracked my, my walks. So I, I do like this, it's really cool. What I don't know though, is if it's still doing a free uh, premium pass if you buy the shoes because when I got these shoes I got I think six months to a year free of map my run I don't think that's it anymore so I'm gonna decide to retire these uh, shortly these aren't my only running shoes but uh, they definitely been the ones that I've relied on the most and I used it for steady state cardio and, and other things but uh, I'm now separating my workouts I'm gonna be using these for my outdoor activities but for strength training, I actually, I'm going to have a flat foot gym shoe because uh, it's been taking a toll on my back. So I got to be smarter about that. But anyway, that's what I wanted to share with you all. If you're interested to see any more information about this, let me know. Because of this and how tethered I am to Under Armour and Samsung Health, if you haven't seen my take on the Galaxy Watch 4, check it out. It's more of a rant because I sent it back because I ended up getting the watch, the Fold 3, and these shoes arriving in the mail at the same time only to find out that the Galaxy Watch 4 that runs Wear OS does not have the Under Armour suite of apps available on the watch. So like that was a no-go for me, I sent it back. So if you want to know more information about that, check out those videos. I'll be leaving links to those in the description down below. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this episode of the program. Like, share, subscribe, and know. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on anything, especially when I go live. I'll see you in the next one.